Glesha Shields won two gold medals in the Olympics. She's a four division champion in Hurry boxing up, as right, a huh? pro mm -hmm. and joins us via the Goodyear hotline. Clarissa, good morning. How are you? Good morning, y'all. I'm good. How are y'all? Good. We're doing good. We're doing good, Clarissa. So, guys, Clarissa is not only a four division boxing champion. But she is now getting ready. Clarissa, you're getting ready for your second MMA fight. That's a big transition at the PFL World Championship, which is next Wednesday. Features six championship bouts. Each champion crowned 2021 PFL World Champion. Take home a million bucks. So what was it like? What were the change? Like, what was the difference? Because I, last time I spoke to you was before your first fight. What, what'd you, how'd you find the experience? You know, I thought the experience was fun. You know, it was it had its challenges, though. You know, like being taken down on the ground, having to get up, um, you know, being stuck on the ground with the girl that was brown built. Like, it had its challenges. But overall, it was fun. It was challenging. And I was able to come out on top. How different is fighting in the MMA versus boxing, though? Oh, it's way different. It's way different. I mean, you go from boxing where it's, you know, jab, right hand, uppercut, hooks and stuff. And then in MMA, it's like if somebody can't deal with you with the hands, they're like, forget this. We're taking you down to the ground. Well, your mind got to switch to now, okay, forget fighting. Now we're grappling. You know, we're doing jujitsu. We're wrestling. And you really got to have that quick mind switch in order for you to be able to keep up. What? Excuse me for the ignorant question, but because I box for a lot of my life. How... How is the conditioning different for MMA, right? The grappling, all that stuff that factors into it. Is that, do you need to be in better conditioning for that aspect of fighting? You have to get your body conditioned to have another body laying on you, have another body pushing and holding you. In boxing, when, when like somebody is holding, the ref say break, and y'all separated. But no, in MMA, the person, you got what you call clinches, you got tie-ups, and then you have groundwork, and that's all consistent of somebody somebody who's your weight or a little bit heavier than you laying on you, and that's a whole different type of conditioning. My body was so sore when I first switched over to MMA. I just pushed and pushed and pushed it, but it's a different kind of soreness when you have a body laying on you that has muscles, that's trying to hold you down, that's trying to, where well, you got to use different kind of muscles to get up. It's a different kind of conditioning, but not like running. It's more of like body conditioning. Mm. Clarissa, I, I've heard you say this before. I've heard you talk about fighting Layla Ali. Is, is that still on the table down the line somewhere? Because I, I need to see that if that's going to go down. You see what happened to Evander Holyfield when he fought against uh, Byron Belfort? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that fight? Yeah. Okay. That's what well, happened I mean, to Layla Ali if she was to fight me. <laughs> now, talk now, that stuff, Clarissa, girl. You bring talk up, that stuff. Clarissa, you bring up Holyfield. Are you saying because Layla is too old now? Look, I have a lot of respect, you know, for Layla, like the legend. People think that I don't, I don't like her, and and that's not true. I think that we bumped heads because we both like so, so accomplished, and we both have, you know, great boxing skills. But I'm 26 years old. I mean, I'm not even in my prime yet, probably. You know, like, I'm getting stronger. I'm getting faster. She hasn't been inside the ring for 14, 15 years now. There's no way she'd be able to come out of retirement and even be able to keep up. And that's not saying she's not a good fighter. I'm just too young, too strong, too fast. You know, maybe we would have fought when she was 29, you know, and we were both kind of in our prime. People can compare. But right now, I mean, she's going to be turning, what, 44? I want to say 45 <laughs> soon. And, and and that's just different. So it's not disrespect to her, but you really got to respect the game. And when you don't use the tools that you have, you lose them. That's just the truth about it. Do you, do you feel like when you – when you people see it, we're talking to Clarissa Shields, and for people who don't know, you know, when you talk about the best pound-for-pound -pound female fighters in the world, you cannot have a discussion without talking about Clarissa. She's a four-division champion as a professional – two-time gold medalist, two-time gold medalist um, in boxing, and now has a win in MMA. But Clarissa, the women do not get paid like the men, right, in, in, mm -hmm. in professional boxing. And so when I see Clarissa's name attached to Layla Ali, Clarissa is trying MMA. It seems to me like if there were the money fights that you wanted and the opponents you wanted in boxing, there would be less time for that stuff. Am I right or wrong about that? 
less time for MMA. Yeah, less time for MMA, you know, and, and maybe we wouldn't be seeing your name attached to Layla. It's like to capture the public's imagination, you need a dance partner. You need something that is that will draw the public's uh, imagination and, and capture it and say, okay, now we're focused on this. You know, I will say in women's boxing, if we was given the opportunity that the men were given, then I can say, you know, then I can say that. So I've always had plenty of dance partners. You know, I've, I've, I've fought against some great opponents. I've trash talked. I've, you know, got into stuff with girls that weigh in. So it's not about people not having an imagination. It's just about women not being given those opportunities to see if we're a big draw. You know, I had my first pay-per-view fight on Fight TV, on FITE TV, where, you know, I did all the social media and all the pushing and everything just myself and with my celebrity friends. But I but I fought six times the main event on Showtime. So you would think that when I fight my pay-per-view fight, that it would be main event on Showtime, where I was getting over 450K views, 500K views mm. of fight. To now I'm going to a network that that my fans really couldn't even, you know, follow or keep up with. And I'm fighting on FITE TV. And now I'll tell you here that I did 25,000 buys on FITE TV. And that's just off of me yeah. promoting and pushing it off my own social media. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.